I saw what was going on in Sayulinda, all this misery with the homeless dogs and the, and the pregnant dogs and the beach dogs that were full of mange. It's just, just horrible. Over the course of time, <laughs> found myself pretty much committed all my free time and even some not free time <laughs> to taking care of the dogs and actually to help Sarah more with some of the finances and organization. Excitedly, the animals opened the clinic doors in February 2009. So we just broke our record last year, which was over 600, 604 animals in one year. It increased dramatically with uh, the vet here with um, Greto who comes once a week. So we do the spay and neuter here at the clinic every Thursday. Uh, we get the animals in here and um, we weigh them. Once we weigh them we know how much medication we can give them and we draw it up, inject them and then we prep them and by prepping we shave them and scrub them with betadine and get them ready for their surgery. We, we give full service to the dogs that come in to get spayed or neutered. It's not just having them recovered from the anesthesia, but also like we do a little grooming, we put the uh, front line on them, we put the nails, and um, this is all volunteer work, and they are my angels, I call them, and they are, they are the best. <laughs> Ah, pobrecita. Tenemos cada jueves citas por 10, 15 animales. Entonces, si das un vecino, es gratis. But especially outside of Saizita and some of the smaller towns, we knock on doors. And we offer a free service of sterilization. And then we have a vet from California who has been coming down five for five years, four times a year. And then we can go to other communities to make big Spain order campaigns. <laughs> What we mostly, mostly need for volunteers is foster homes. And it's such a rewarding thing to do. He was found on the street in Tepic, and he was almost uh, at death's doorstep. And a young lady took him in, and I found out about him. And so when I arrived in November, I took him in. I love helping animals, I adore animals, but it's not completely altruistic because Nino gives an enormous amount back to, to me. Every time there's a surplus at the clinic, Sarah gives me a call. Eric, hey, I got a puppy for you, or I got a dog for you. Or, I don't know, it just seems to happen a lot. I've had about 40 in the last two years, maybe, two, three years. And they've all gone off to good homes. Within a week, we were so much engaged to this dog. He was just lovely. That was the best part, I think. The happy dog. We're very happy that he has a permanent home with a Labradoodle friend.